नमो नम सर्वे शेल वि बिगिन श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कविताकिकेसरी वेदाताचार्यवर्यो मे सन्निधत्ता सदा हृदय सत श्रीरंग पृथ्वीश चरणत्राणशेखरा जयंती भवनत्राण पदभंगजने नम सो वी आर फॉर्चुनेट टू गो थ्रू श्री पादुका सहस्रम श्री वेद ऑफ वेदांत देशिका बाय दी बिनाइन कॉपरेशन ऑफ व्योमा लिंग्विस्टिक्स लैब्स फाउंडेशन बेंगलुरु especially we are thankful to venkata subramanian swami and lakshmana acharya swami and the other members of the staff of the foundation who have helped us go through our chief padaka sasram shri vedant deshika you can call it as the Thirtieth Stotram, and rather the biggest, greatest devotional song that we see about the divine sandals of Sri Ranganatha. So we are just seeing the list of works of some, uh, yes, a sample list of Vedanta Deshika's beautiful creations. and we have so many varieties of works in his creations and each of them is unique in character and therefore we see that yes the plethora of books so uh, among the books i want to mention two names which are not found in this uh, slide dramido upanishad tatparya ratnavali and dramido upanishad saraha so why i am referring to these two particular creations of sri vedanta deshika is we are going to connect them to the samakhya paddhati which we will study uh, either from today or from the next session so here the dramido upanishad tatparya ratnavali the very sanskrit name will make you understand that it is tamil language production equated to the upanishad so we say dramido upanishad upanishad in tamil Uh, tatparya the essence ratnavali the gems the the garland of gems which it tells us the quintessence of this tamil upanishad namely tiruvaimuli as we call them in tamil again blessed to us by namarva now so this is about uh, a few aspects of the wonderful creations of Sri Vedant Deshika, and again, Tatpariya, Dravida Upanishad, Tatpar, Dravida Upanishad, Saraha. Again, it is in twenty-six verses, a small introduction to the salient philosophical points in the Tamil Upanishad called Thiruvai Muni. Again, by Namarva. So here, so. we go to the uh, 19th verse which we saw last time and we will have the completion of this paddhati prastava paddhati in the verse number 20 so we saw this one anukuta nijanadam sutti maapa dayanti manasi vachasi chatvam savadhana manasyaha 
निशमयति यथासो निद्रया दूर मुक्त परषदि सग लक्ष्मी पादुके रंगनाथ रंगनाथ शुड बी अवेक् टू लिजन टू मई पादुका सहस्रम अलांग वि पीपल इन दसम्ली नेमली महालक्ष्मी भूमादेवी द गाड वेर्थ नीलादेवी द गाड आफ ग्रेन विश्वसेना दि सेक्यूरीटी स्टाफ द जीरो सेक्यूरीटी और यू कैन से ब्लैक कैट सेक्यूरीटी दि कैट द वीकल ऑफ श्री श्रीमन नारायण एंड नैचुरली द बेड नेमली आदिशेष these three being called nitya suris permanent scholars with the spiritual wisdom in the vicinity of shri shiman narayana now you understand shiman narayana is none other than shri ranganath of shri rangam in the archa form in a temple and let them all hear me listen to me and with the soul and heart put together manasi vachasi cha tvam the divine sandals of course is the subject matter and therefore it should hear so there is what that we saw in 19th verse of prastava padyat now vedanta deshika conclude this prastava padyat an introductory chapter tvai vigita stutihi esha pada rakshini bhavati ranganath pade उट the divine sandals of ranganatha and to this the author answers the question esha astutihi tvai vihita the first half you see these words this poem this poem this eulogy this praise this adoration is fixed on you tvai vihita is composed on you हे पदरक्षिणी ओ द फुट गॉड जी यू ए आर डी फुट गॉड ऑफ श्री रंगनाथ भवती रंगनाथ पदे इट इज ऑन द फुट ऑफ डिवाइन फीट ऑफ लॉर्ड रंगनाथ ऑल्सो दो इट इज वी से पादुका सहस्रम आई नेम्ड द चैप्टर एज पद्धति पद्धति मीनिंग फुट स्टेप so without foot how can we step make a step so foot step uh, it is also on ranganath pade bhavati now how can that you say the sandal das ke again if the adoration is on me namely the divine sandals how can it be also on the foot so i give you example क्रोसिंगीशन like vibhishana from sri lanka all of them come here in the night and that is what we call aitiham it's a belief it's a firm belief that all of them come and worship sri ranganatha the gods can come at any time the demons can come at any time but human beings like us can go only during certain hours and all of them come and worship generally demons prefer night they stealthily come without the knowledge of others demons come without the knowledge of the gods 
the gods come without the knowledge of demons and so on. They have always uh, a, a speck of enmity between them. And this is all what you call Leela, the sport game of Sri Ranganatha as Sri Sriman Narayana. So Paramapada Natha is the Pararupam, as you know, and the Acharupam is Sri Ranganatha. And what he says, what Ranganatha, what Sri Vedanta Deshika says here is, so Tadupari, so when I am talking about uh, you in the 1008 verses, the worship, Saparya, the respect given, Krita, to you, maybe in fur further, will also fall on the God's head. Namely, the, when the gods and all others, all creations without any exception, come and worship the Paduka, the divine sandals of Ranganatha, their heads come and touch the Paduka. Rather, we can say, as we knew earlier, Shatari, the object which is placed on the heads of the devotees by the priests of the temple. So that is that is what we are saying. The God's heads touch the Paduka. And they touch Paduka, whatever, say, for example, flowers, for example, the basil leaf, Tulasi, the Asimum Sanctum, as it is botanically called, the Tulasi, as we say, Brinda, another name for Tulasi. And, there, and all, when they are submitted over the Paduka and the divine feet of the Lord, then we can understand those flowers and tulasi leaves will also touch the heads of the gods. So that means when one is worshipped, when Sriman Narayana in the form of Sri Ranganatha in the Archa form is worshipped, then we have uh, all the gods worship. Sarvadeva Namaskaraha Keshavam Pratigachati all of you might know this verse. Akashat patitam toyam yatha gachati sagaram sarva deva namaskaraha keshavam pratigachati. So, this is the reverse. When uh, the entire worship has gone to Keshava, so Keshava in turn transfers these salutations to all the gods. So that we get all the blessings of all the gods. So with this, we come to the completion of the first chapter, namely Prastava Paddhati. And to be brief in summarization, I would like to point out how Vedanta Deshika starts this Padraka Sahasra. You remember that the first verse tells us that the good people who are fortunate enough to hold on in their head the Shatari or the Paduka, the divine sandals of Ranganatha, while beginning the worship of the Lord and finishing the worship, completing the worship of the Lord in the night uh, when, they, when they are about to go back home. And then so the first verse tells about the fortune of the good people who are lucky to have adorned their heads with the Paduka. So the, from second verse onwards, starting with the word Bharataya, Vedanta Deshika salutes one, the younger brother of Rama, Bharata. In the name of Bharata, Nathamuni, the the excellent preceptor of the Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya. Then he goes to Namarva, Varnastomai is the word start, starting word of the verse. And then we have uh, Balmiki. Uh, we have at least four verses dedicated to the great people like Bharata, Nathamuni, uh, Valmiki, and Namarva. So in the next four verses, Swami Vedanta Deshika gives us why he wants to 
praise Paduka. So he gives a sample or, or what you call uh, a glimpse of his greatness, of the sandal's greatness in the next four. In the, in the next five, he requests, he prays to divine sandal in order that he will have the full capacity, capability, the knowledge, the wisdom to compose the thousand eight verses. So after he prays to the divine sandals in the next five verses, he goes on to tell us he is confident that he is created by the blessings, immediate blessings. On the spot, the divine sandals extend the blessings to him and therefore he becomes capable of describing uh, in 1008 verses. And finally, he wants to pray again to the divine sandals that it should make Ranganatha Ranganaika, Vishwaksena, Adishesha, and Garuda to listen to his Padraka Sasram uh, in the last four verses. So, you know, all the gods in turn are worshipped by his prayer, by his words of description towards the divine sandals and the divine feet of Ranganatha. So, here, so when we uh, we are now getting over to the second uh, uh, paddhati called the samakya paddhati samakya paddhati is considered as name paddhati good named paddhati samakya meaning akya meaning name samakya is good name the paddhati is a good name and uh, just to tell you a point over the Prastava Paddhati, it is customary on great poets to express their humility, modesty in the beginning verses and then uh, the courage with which they are going to compose the poem also occurs in the introduction of any poem. So here, uh, let us see the uh, verses which are very simple here and to tell you the essence of the content of this second chapter named Samakya Paddhati. So you can even call it as uh, Dravida Veda Sagara Paddhati. So it is all about Namadvar and Paduka. Vande Vishnu Padasaktam Tamburishim Padukan Chatam Yathartha Shakajit Samya Machitta Vijaya At Vijayat Yayoho. So one day, now he again prays to Namarva. Namarva has a fascination for him. And Vedanta Deshika's mother tongue being Tamil, he has in, in, relished the thousand Tamil songs or the outpourings of devotion in the 4,000 Tamil Divya Prabandhas of the 12, uh, among the 12 apostles of Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya. So Nammarvar is considered with high respect and therefore he wants to describe him in the second chapter of the Bhagavad, I mean, um, Pathuka says. I want to tell you just one verse about uh, uh, the greatness of Tamarva. Bhakta Amritam is given an adjective in the Tanian. You must have heard the word Tanian frequently in Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya. The Tanian means an individual verse praising a particular great scholar which tells about the great qualities, tells about him. Uh, we have Tanian for Goda Devi, only lady among the Arvas, 12 apostles. And then we have Nila Tungas Tanakiritati Sutta Mudbodhya Krishnam Paracham Swam Shruti Shata Siddham Siddha Madhya Apayanti So Chishtayam Srajanigalidam Yabala Kritya Bhumte Goda Tasseinam Idam Idam Bhuyaye Vastu Bhuyaha 
So Tanians are in Sanskrit and in Tamil. So you have two more for Goda Devi, Andal, as she is called. So Annavayal Pudubai Andal Arangark Pannatirupavai Palpadiyam Innishayal Padikkuduttal Narpamalai Pumalai Shudikkuduttalai Shullu Shudikkudutta Shudarkudiye Tolpavai Padiyarulavalla Palvalayai Nadi ni venkata varki and navi the end of him matrum. Nam kadava vandame nalhu. Now, why I say this is because the word goda, as it uh, means in, in different shades, go means bumi, go means cow, as all of, us, all of us know, go means jnanam. And therefore, since the Paduka, the divine sandal, gave knowledge for. Uh, Vedanta Deshika to compose the 1008 verses of Pavrika Sahasram. So also, by reciting the Tanyan of such a goddess, only lady among the Arvas, uh, to give us knowledge to understand this Pavrika Sahasram much more easily than we can attempt by ourselves. So Bhaktamartam is the first adjective of Namarvan. The second adjective is Vishwa Jananu Modanam. The entire universe will be enjoying the bliss by going through the Tamil songs of Namarvar. And he is called Vishwa Jananu Modanam. And what does this uh, thousand songs of uh, called Thiruvayamari give us? Sarvarthadam. It gives us all the essential meanings of philosophy. Sarvatatam. So what does it give? I mean, whose words? She Shatakopa Vangmayam. By the way, the word Shatakopa is the name of Namarvar in Sanskrit, meaning that I told you earlier that uh, while we are born, the, the suddenly uh, an air, wind, uh, uh, rather a bad wind affects us. And therefore, we forget all, what all we remembered in the previous births. And we have a lot of ignorance. And whereas, Shatakopa was different from all of us because as a blessed soul, he dismissed the ignorance immediately and at the, at the time of his birth, and therefore, he was able to compose thousand Tamil songs with all philosophical meanings about Lord Sriman Narayana. And therefore, he is called Shi Shatakopa Vangmayam. The words of Namarvar, Shatakopa, were all giving all philosophical meanings. Sagastra Shakopanishad Samagamam. Namam Myaham Dravida Vedasagaram. This is the Tanyan of. So you have uh, he, the Shatakopa. What did he do was he got angry with that wind and he fought with the wind, won over the wind, defeated the wind, and then he was not affected by the wind. Of course, that was a that was a boon from the Lord Himself, and therefore. He, you will hear more about the history of Namarvar in the coming uh, sessions while we deal with him, the, the background of his biography. So here, so now um, Vedanta Deshika employs a double meaning word with the first expression, Vishnupada Saktam. So the divine sandals, as all of us understand very easily, Attached to the divine, divine feet of Lord Vishnu. Vishnu Pada Asaktam. So again, Shatakopa, otherwise called Shatarihi, enemy of the Shata wind. So he is also attached to the divine feet of Lord Vishnu. Vishnu Pada Asaktam. There are two meanings here. So now we are referring to the first meaning. So Shatakopa as an apostle among the 12 staunch Sri Vaishnava devotees. So, Tam Rishim 
that sage so vande i salute i bow i make a salutation i fall at the feet i prostrate at the sage at the sage's feet you can say who is attached to the divine feet of lord vishnu here it is ranganath padukan chatam so i salute you also so the word tam gives you that the divine sandals are great in quality so we are going to understand the greatness of the divine sandals in the future chapters called paddhati now he says both of them have the same name the word the name shatakopa given to namarva and the paduka namely shatari otherwise also we say shatakopa suppose the priest in the temple when we go there forgets to to put the place the uh, paduka that is shatari on our head we remind him we request him we appeal to him uh, swami swami so please uh, um, give me the shatakopa shatakopam we say in tamil as we say shatakopam so shatakopam that means he will bring the shatari and place it on our head so vedanta deshika says yathartha shatachit samya so it is the right name it's a fitting name meaningful name yathartha shatachit jam samya now you can call paduka now in the third name in the third way so shatachit because he won over the shatha shatha you can say enemy shatha is what you call a cruel enemy yeah what you call in sanskrit otherwise durta kalaha so we say in tamil kalipayal so a bad man so shatha hai now you would have heard about this character in a drama in sanskrit drama called murchakatikam a very humorous drama uh, written in the second century bc by a king called shudraka so the author is called shudraka and his uh, drama is a very big drama with the 10 acts 10 scenes what do you call anka and it's a uh, it's a, the title is called murchakatika so we have a character called shatahad so there are some rogues in the in the characters so you are we are not we are talking about rogue in our sense i told you there are six rogue six rogues in our uh, self namely uh, kama krodha lobha moha madha matsarya what i heard about these six qualities these six qualities are bad qualities and they are the enemies for us so they are called shatha so shatha jit he has one amarvar and paduka are having the same name samnya samnya mean name shatachit samnya so they have the same name yathartha shatachit samnya the meaningful name fitting to these two namely shatakopa the apostle the alvar of the sri vaishnava sampradaya and the paduka the divine sandals why why is meaningful machitta vijayat both of them attracted me my mind much chitta mama chitta my mind vijaya vijayat because of their victory over my mind they occupy my mind all the time all through my life of 101 years vedanta deshika lived a full life we are usually bless the youngsters the elders well bless the youngsters chatamanam bhavati shata yush purusha satendriya ayushyevendriye pratitishthati this is how we bless uh, youngsters the youngsters must always develop the habit of falling at the feet of the elders when they see them when they come they come to our house so uh, whenever we meet meet them we must fall at their feet and it is a curious uh, scene to note when ranganatha uh, is uh, traveling on the uh, streets of srirangam 
all devotees will fall on the ground on the earth they will not see whether it is dirty or not so they will all fall fall on the ground sashtanga namaskara will be done by all the devotees to the lord rangnatha and the respect goes equally to the divine sandals so he says it's a fitting name and uh, they too attracted me namely the divine sandals and chatakopa the arvar because of the victory over my mind i salute them i have respect for them yayo ho now i'll tell you on one or two parallels how a name is fitting kalidasa the greatest poet describes the greatness of a king called raghu in the solar rays in his mahakavyam great epic called raghu amsham containing 19 cantos ekona vimshati sargaha santi in raghu amsham so there are 29 kings described by kalidasa in his 19 cantos of his great epic so i was telling you yesterday about uh, the first epic kumar sambhavam mahakavyam and then the second on uh, now now i am referring to the second mahakavyam by the same author namely kalidasa and uh, in raghuvamsham in the fourth canto chaturtha sarga he describes the greatness of raghu and raghu is called generally called you know raja the king is called raja in any country so raja the word raja is meaningful with regard to raghu he says yathartha samnya the same word yathartha samnya meaningful name why raghu was so good a king that he was pleasing all the subjects of the country ranjayati iti raja ranjayati iti raja and also the second meaning is rajate iti raja he was bossing over he was the emperor he was the monarch he ruled the people with uh, strict orders all subjects obeyed him uh, everybody never transgressed the rules of the kingdom he was a good ruler and therefore they all all the subjects followed him so he was shining as the first citizen of the country and therefore the rajate iti raja ranjayati iti raja and kalidasa said yathartha samnya the meaningful name given to raghu king raghu now another parallel this of course is a sporadic incident in ramayana boja king boja wrote a book called ramayana cham king boja was a very great sanskrit scholar he ruled the kingdom of dhara and he wrote 32 books in sanskrit he was versatile he was a prolific writer and he composed a kavyam uh, with what we call a style called prose poem champu who is a name in sanskrit which tells you that it is a combination beautiful blend of prose and poetry so here Uh, so he wrote about uh, what we call gaja chikitsa the treatment of the elephants when they get diseases so ashwa chikitsa so he wrote a book on medicine for horses and then he wrote what we call a very difficult grammar book called saraswati kantha abharanam the necklace of goddess of education a very beautiful name will will be tell will be will tell us how scholarship or uh, scholarly was king bhoja so this is only a sample so now we come to a 
the incident in Sundarakanda of Ramayana, Hanuman meets Sita. And then uh, Sita wants to tell him how to identify whether Hanuman was a real uh, messenger of Rama or some uh, demon in the form of a monkey. She suspected earlier. She was not sleeping over many months. She did not see any dream. But generally, according to Swapna Shastra in Sanskrit, we are not to see a monkey in our dream. So we have solutions to such problems. That is good sleep, dreamless sleep. We call it Sushupti in Sanskrit. Instead of Swapna, the dream. So we have got prayers to say that during our uh, sleep, we will not have any negative uh, uh, vision. And therefore, so we, have, we have got a lot of prayers and such. Here, uh, so what uh, Boja, King Boja said, describing the meeting between Sita and Hanuma. So Sita told him a secret that what Hanuma did not know. So that that will be a, what we call a point of recognition to Rama when he goes back and conveys the message that he met Sita in Sri Lanka. What is the proof? The proof is this. Namely, a crow came and did a heinous act on the divine body of Sita. And therefore, so he, she narrates the incident to Hanuman. So Hanuman came to know for the first time that such kind of incident. And uh, when he describes, when the king, Boja, described beautifully the matter, he says, the crow is named perfectly as Chirajivi. Chirajivi. You would have heard about this word with a letter extra, Chiranjivi. Whenever we mention any youngster's name, we add Chiranjivi. Especially in marriage invitations, we add what we call a title, Chiranjeevi, an honorific title, meaning that uh, that young man uh, should live long. Whereas for the girls, we add Saubhagyavati, she should be very lucky. Bhagyam is luck, Saubhagyam is good luck. So Saubhagyavati will be their first name, first word to be added in the first place before any name. So these traditions we must understand. Otherwise we cannot say Mr. and Miss and Mrs. Please note, Mr. doesn't mean anything. Mrs. means, you know, she is a married woman. Miss means she is a spinster. That's all we know. We, other, we all miss all other meanings. Look at the way that we write in Sanskrit. Now we write it in English now. CHI. An abbreviation of Chiranjeevi. Uh, so Chiranjeevi. Chiranjeevi. Chiram for a long time. Jeevi. A, a person should live. We expect that a person should live for a long time. So Chiranjeevi. That's why we say. So we bless him by writing the word Chiranjeevi. Before the name. Curiously enough, in Sanskrit, without the single middle letter, Inj, Chirajivi is named for Paryaya Padam, that is a synonymous name for a crow. So how are, how are the divine couple, Sita, Devi and Rama, Lord, Rama the Lord? Both of them had compassion over the crow, though it committed a blunder to release him with his life intact by just taking one eye vision out. Uh, therefore, uh, we understand in the incident that the crow was set free in spite of the Brahmastra, the missile of the creator, sent with the help of a grass, blade of grass by Rama. And you know what happened. So in order to have more details of the incident, please refer to the books or uh, great scholars. So what 
Boja King says here is Yathartha Samya. The crow is named Chirajivi perfectly in Sanskrit, in Amarakosha, as you find, because it was allowed to live further even after committing a mystery. And it lived long. The crow lived long. Chirajivi. So these are some two, I mean, two parallels of the word. Yathartha Samya. Now we will go to the next one. So, Dramido Panishad Nivesha Shunyanapi Lakshmi Ramanaya. Sorry. Rocha Ishyan Dhruvam Avishatisma Padukatma Shatakopa Swayameva Mananiya. Now, uh, Vedanta Deshika gives the reason why Namarvar. Otherwise called in Sanskrit, Shatakopaha, Shatarihi, Shatajit. And you can even say Paduka. Why should he be respected again and again? Already we said, Vande Vishnu Padasaktam. In Samakya Paddhati, in this chapter, already he said, uh, I salute, I bow. I make a prostration towards Shatakopa, the sage. Rishim, Tam Rishim, Tancha Padukam, that we saw in the previous verse. Now, we understand, those who are not comfortable with the Tamil language, those, even those who can have, who, who have Tamil as their mother tongue, may not understand the import of the thousand songs, Tamil songs of Shatakopa, Namarvar, in Tamil, out of the 4,000 Divya Prabandhas of the 12 apostles of Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya. So there are two categories of people here. Those who have Tamil as their mother tongue cannot understand fully the meaning, inner meaning of Namarvar's Tamil song. There are people who do not know the Tamil language. Uh, they have, their mother tongue is different in our country and in, in and elsewhere. Also. So, what should have happened to those people who cannot enjoy the meanings of Namarva? Dravida, Dravida Tamil, Upanishad, it is equal to Upanishad. The scriptural meanings are given by Shatakopas, thousand Tamil songs called Thiruvai Mari. So, Upanishad, Nivesha, Shunyanapi. The knowledge is empty. The knowledge is zero for many of us who are not familiar with the Tamil language. Not only who are not familiar with the Tamil language, who are not familiar with the uh, very hard meanings of Tamil language. It is not very easy to understand. And therefore, and it becomes the ancient times called Sangam. So in order to understand the Tamil meanings of, the hard Tamil meanings of, rather actually enjoyable Tamil meanings of Chattakopa, Namarvar, Lakshmi, Ramana, Yarochayishyan. Now, see, the scriptures in, are in Sanskrit. Please note, all the Vedas are in Sanskrit. Many of us do not know Sanskrit. Many of us do not know the Vedic language Sanskrit. Many of us do not understand the inner meanings of the Sanskrit sentences in the scriptures. Now there are two sides here, two sides of a coin. So now, now that the whole world has got the translations of both the scriptures in Sanskrit, the Tamil songs of Thiruvayamuri, so you can understand. So in order to make Lord Ranganatha pleased by making people who do not know Sanskrit to understand scriptures, Namarvar composed in Tamil. So Lakshmi Ramanaya, for the sake of Sri Ranganatha, Lakshmi Ramanaya, he is the consort of Mahalakshmi. 
ingana ika rotation so he wanted to create uh, mean please the lord the divine couple now what did he do so dhruvam definitely dhruvam mean definitely surely chatakopaha namely namarva swayameva he himself padukatma avishatisma became the soul of the divine sandals of angana so we say in tamil also the word avesha the appearance of somebody in somebody's soul tamil la vandu koodu vittu koodu paagiradhu nenu solluvom in english we say transmigration of a soul so in this case shatakopa transmigrated to the paduka the divine sandals and therefore he is to be respected mananiya shatakopa hai mananiya shatakopa must be respected therefore i am not stopping with one verse vande vishnu padasaktam tam rishim tam tam cha padukam in the first verse and therefore because to help the people who know tamil and again to help the people who do not know sanskrit uh namarwar contributed to the 4000 tamil songs a thousand songs and you know the adjective that i just now told you in this session today sagasra shakha sagasra shakha thousand branches so which scripture has got thousand branches namely samaveda so the entire samaveda has been condensed the thousand branches of samaveda thousand branches of samaveda are enormous in quantity and quality and those portions of samaveda with thousand branches have been condensed into the thousand tamil songs of tamarwar called thiruvayur and therefore so my respect grows further vedan deshika says my respect grows further to adore namarwar in the second chapter of this paduka uh, sastram because namarwar's name is same as paduka the divine son because both are attached to the divine feet of the lord ranganath so here by the word dhruvam uh, he employs vedanta deshika employs an alankara a figure of speech how do you call in poetics the what do you call an embellishment of the poetry what do you call a utpreksha a poetic fancy an imagination no it's not quite an imagination but it's true imagination so what are imagination that vedant deshika does is also true and therefore so we and we want to understand that shatakopa is equal to paduka and whenever we worship paduka it means that we worship shatakopa whenever we worship Uh, paduka we will we understand we worship shatakopa whenever we worship shatakopa i mean why how do you worship shatakopa by reading and understanding the meanings of thiruvaimuli with a thousand songs in tamil then that means we are also adoring the divine sandals of ranganath so this is how we understand uh, this verse so we have uh, four minutes to go and before uh, we uh, end up this session as usual i want to conclude by the last verse of the paduka sahasra namely jayati etiraja sukti jayati mukundasya paduka yugali tadubaya dhana strivedi avandhayanto jayanti bhuvisantah kavitarkika samhaya kalyana gunashalinee Shimate Venkatesha Yeh 
ವೇದಾಂತ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಸೊ ಯಾಸ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ತಮಿಳ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಟ್ ತಮಿಳ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ ನೇಮ್ಲಿ ತಿರುವಾಯ್ಮಿಳಿ ವಿತ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ ದ್ರಾವಿಡ ವೇದ ದ ತಮಿಳ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅನದರ್ ತಮಿಳ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಟರ್ ವಿತ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಟು ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವೈಟ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ಎಂಬೆಡೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಬುಕ್ ತಿರುಕುರಳ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಬೈ ತಿರುವಳ್ಳುವರ್ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇವ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ಸ್ ಸಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ಆನ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಅದರ್ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವೇ so uh, thanks to the participation of 33 devotees here and yesterday was a little less in number and therefore uh, we would always uh, beseech you or uh, uh, request you to join our sessions so that you can enjoy more and more while we go further on shri paduka sagas and uh, i think you are seeing the fifth verse we are going to see the, the third verse tomorrow radhe krishna thanks to the attendance sincerely by ranga prasad swami annapurna and so many others who are saying namaste dhanyasmi dhanyosmi and so on. okay if you have time i shall of course tomorrow i will tell you the entire paddhati prastava paddhati sing the entire paddhati um, and I, i will i'll try to allot time for as you said and as uh, you want want at the end of the second paddhati also samakhya paddhati we will have the uh, singing of the entire paddhati. one of the paddhatis in Pad- paduka sahasram is 100 strong so that may not be possible in a session and therefore we we thank all of you again and again and we welcome you again and again so that uh, uh, i will have the uh, curiosity rather uh, interest to continue with all of you so um so shatha kopa as you want the kopa anger the ca- anger is ko- kopa please do not uh, uh, look at the wrong spellings which we use in the names of people they they, they write in english wrongly they write in tamil also wrongly because the first letter sha cannot be written as as it is not available in tamil whereas the the ta also we don't have four ta's in as we have in sanskrit ta tha da dha na so ta tha da dha are not available in tamil therefore it can be written with ta 1 ta 2 ta 3 ta 4 kopa is k o p there is no uh, different spelling and people write in english s a d a g o p a it's very wrong it's completely wrong 
So while we write in English also, you must be very careful. So it can give rise to some wrong meaning, opposite meaning and so on. Kopaha anger. Krodha is fury. Extreme anger is called Krodha. Kopa is anger. So he showed anger toward the rogue, namely Shatha, a bad man. And that bad man was a wind, in the form of wind, air. Vayu. It's called Shatha is Vayu. So as you understand, when we have in our body the five airs, Prana, Apana, Udana, Vyana, Samana, so these are the five airs that we have. Pranaha, we say in single word. In plural, we say Pranaha. Uh, these five airs should be in balance in our body, then only we will be healthy. You know, you know the balance of hormones in our body. So also the balance of these five airs in our body. So uh, here we say Pancha Pranaha. So in this uh, Kopa, the anger was shown by Namarvar to the Shatha Vayu. And therefore, Shatha Vayu could not affect him. Whereas all of us, without any exception, have been affected by the Shatha Vayu. And therefore, we are ignorant of many things. A small example which I just now told, told you in this session. We do not understand scriptures because we don't know Sanskrit. So we don't have a sufficient knowledge for in Sanskrit for understanding scriptures. We don't have a sufficient knowledge in Tamil for understanding Thiruvayamudu. The Shatha Kopa, Shatha is a, is a creation of the Lord. Unfortunately, it is it affects all of us. So, if we are not ignorant, if we are enlightened completely, we will remember all of our previous births. Sometimes that will also be risky. So, God has created some convenience for us also. Okay. So let us uh, uh, meet tomorrow. Uh, so anything that you want to convey further will be through mail or WhatsApp to Vyoma Linguistics Lab Foundation. And to me also officially, Tirunarayanan at the, uh, Vyoma and gmail.com. Tirunarayanan.vyoma at gmail Welcome to you tomorrow. We'll stop here.